Psych! Yo, his big too! Look at Today we're watching the new episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, but first, if you enjoy the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. You can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon, plus other links in the description if you're interested in stuff that's not anime. I do that on other channels. And maybe stop by the live streams over on Twitch so you can watch Bleach with me and the rest of the community. That said, let's check out the episode. Seeing the future. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? That shit look crazy. They didn't show it as like rainbow eyes. And so that's why Uabaka has his multiple eyes and shit. It look, I was literally thinking it looked like a kaleidoscope. I literally was thinking that. That's crazy, bro. We're on the same wavelength. I didn't say it because I forgot what the word was called, but I was thinking it. Damn, you age quick as hell. No, it's 9,000 years that passed. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, is he also his mom too? A little bit of both? Is the is is the Soul King literally uh Oh wait, hold on. Is he called the Soul King or am I thinking of uh Brooke? Brooke's the real Soul King when you think about it. Take this baby. God. Bro, he's the prodigal son. The voices of the forsaken. Jesus, what the fuck? Yo, yo, this is trippy. Ooh, the music's very eerie, too. Like, it almost feels like they're playing the violin bad a little bit on purpose. Like, it found, it sounds, like, very jarring. It's, it's creepy. Uh-oh. It's speeding up. They're up to some shit, obviously. Everybody's seeing it all go down. Oh! You're too late. And then he blasts it, right? Didn't he already blast it? Okay. Okay, okay. I see what you're working with, Piero. Yeah, his eyes are fucking freaky. What's up with those eyes, bro? Who are you looking at? Is he looking at me? Is he looking at you? Ooh. Ooh, the music. Oh, bro, the OST is just so nice. So far, the OST is just, in this episode, is just peak. The creepiness of the start, and then having this choral, like this chorus. Oh. Ah, damn, leveled the floor. Probably, right? Oh. Oh, he didn't even really take damage off that. He just got blasted away. Get to attention. Wow. Yo. Ichigo with another power up. Holy shit. What is he doing here? Yo. Actually doing some work against Uwabaka? Oh shit, oh shit, it's going, it's going crazy right now. Qual Christ. Oh shit. You think that's enough to stop Ichigo? It's like... Psych! Psych! Yo, his shit big too! Oh! Wait, what? This fucking, yo, this big ass shit that he makes is, is actually like shut down? Look at this! Shut down? Admittedly, 
the Getsuga Juji show is massive. Seems to look very big. Bro! Holy shit! I didn't know it was that big. I thought it was like big in, you know, similar in size to the other. Yo, Ichigo said, you want to be a god? I'll put you in a shrine. Yeah, you a baka if you think that you can keep standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with our boy Ichigo. Oh, he ain't even been using the eyes. He didn't even have his eyes in. Eyes in. Don't let him turn on that observation hockey. Oh, it's just so nasty looking. Oh. Actually, it does look kind of cool. It does look kind of cool. Like, I have a thing with eyeballs, like, ugh. But it actually does look kind of sick, having, like, multiple irises and stuff. I'm torn because of my, like, I have, like, this, like, this eye thing. Like, eyes, like, freak me out. Like, damage to eyes, like, it's just, ugh. But also, kind of sick. It, it does look kind of sick. Fucking hell, dude. Ichigo, don't let him go, Super Saiyan. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's crazy, bro. That's insane. That is insane. Ichigo was gonna get freaky eyes. This man Ichigo is gonna unlock the freaky eyes, bro, for sure, guaranteed. I, I know it. How do you beat somebody that can see the future? Two options, all right? We learned, we learned. Basically, you beat somebody that can see the future by also seeing the future and then being too fast to be kept up with. That's what Luffy did. That's what Ichigo has to do. He has to also see the future and also be too fast or maybe not even necessarily too fast, but maybe be too unpredictable. We've seen in other series where it's not necessarily like seeing the future, but being so unpredictable to the point where you can't figure out what the outcome is. Those are his options, I think. He's not grabbing him by the face. That's crazy, bro. You would not be putting your hands on my face like that. Well, he's gonna know that you're gonna slash down and take his arm. He's gonna dodge that somehow or not. You're not gonna slash down? Okay. That's crazy, bro. Damn. Ichigo, what the fuck? He's upside down. He's channeling his chakra through his feet, guys. We've seen in Naruto how- No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Yo, Bleach fans gonna get mad at me for this one. I don't care. All right, that was good. Bro, he's pulling a JoJo's too. Yo, my favorite part of JoJo's is probably the second part of JoJo's because I loved when when Joseph Joestar would literally finish the the bad guy's sentences. Everything they're they're gonna say, he says it first. I like this. I like this ability that he's doing where every time somebody says something, he's like, nah, I'll say it first. That can't hit. You missed. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Somebody, oh yeah, so somebody said that basically Uabaka is Jesus. And I could see it. Like his power level is insane. <laughs> bro, what a Zoro moment. That way. Nope. Over here. He said, stop yapping. Damn, I feel like he was talking to me. Oh, shit. Nah, Kenpachi's not dying, bro. Kenpachi's definitely gonna pop the fuck off, bro. I just, I can't even, I can't even fathom the idea that somehow Kenpachi would die. It just doesn't, I don't think that that, it just doesn't make sense in my mind. You know what I mean? Like, I could see Ichigo dying before Kenpachi. Ironically, if he's a soul, isn't he kind of... Hmm. 
The Death Reaper? Think about it, kind of Shinigami. Because why, bro, why would you go for just the Shinigami when you could go to the guy in charge? That's why, obviously, you go to the guy in charge. Okay. Damn. Unfortunately, you have an opposition to face first. I mean... Yeah, like, is there a reason to stop you? I mean, like, you want to kill the Soul King. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like this is a pretty decent reason. The Quincy blood and you will never forgive the Soul King. That's crazy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Oh? Nope. He saw it coming. Damn. But not to worry why. You're not able to defeat him, but don't worry. That's what peace is all about. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what he means. So they teamed up? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think, um... Um, Ichibei's, uh, uh, switching up on our boy. No, no, no. That's crazy. If Ichigo dies, no one will stand against Yuabaka, and then there's peace. Uh, I guess, I guess I get what you mean by that. That's fair. Tied to the safety of the Soul King. Well, here's the thing. It's crazy. He's like, the amount of arrogance that it takes to be at Yuabaka calling someone else arrogant for wanting to stop him from doing something so arrogant as opposing the Soul King is so ironic. It's crazy. He's like calling uh, Ichigo out for that. He's but a sacrifice to stabilize the soul side. That's crazy. Damn. Oh! Oh! Nah, that ain't doing shit to him. I foresaw it all, of course. I knew you would do that. Yeah, we did see that at the end of the last episode, didn't we? Fuck. Golly. Is it that easy to kill the Soul King, though? Bro, Matt, we know that Kurosu, uh, Kurosaki, we know that Ichigo fights with two swords, right? Imagine. Bro, imagine he pulls this sword out. That would be crazy, right? <laughs> Son told you. <laughs> oh, man. Also, it's kind of wild that you just pulling a sword out of him. Normally, listen, when you get stabbed, that knife is all, it's doing two things. Obviously, first of all, it's cutting into your body, right? But another thing it's doing is plugging the wound. The moment you pull that out, now there's nothing there in that area where you were stabbed. Everything's coming out at that point. Oh, 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 what the fuck is this? Bro, if you don't stop talking about what you foresee, holy shit. Oh! No, you gotta stop. You, don't go into him. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No, Ichigo's gonna stop himself. And we're gonna hear the fucking music. Oh. Okay, never mind. Damn. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna 
right? Halfway in, stop himself, and then we hear the fucking Ichigo theme song come on. No. No. You, Abaka, foresaw me pausing every time? Ain't no way, though. Right? There's no way. Oh, my God. Holy shit! So because Ichigo is like a melting pot of everything, he was the one that was needed to do this. Bro, what in the Aizen? Bro, I will admit, I will admit, as much as I'm ref- By the way, for those of you that probably haven't seen any other re reactions I've ever done, as much as I'm referencing other anime while we're watching Bleach, there's always- always one reference that i always use whenever we're watching any other anime and that's a reference to aizen like i will always reference aizen like if somebody has this grand plan that was you know like 20 steps ahead they're aizen always the most iconic character in bleach and one of the most iconic characters in all of anime i think he's more iconic than ichigo aizen is Next level. Fucking hell. This is a... The world is ending. I hope that somehow... The Soul King... Hooks up Ichigo. There's supposed to be... Wait, chat. There's supposed to be four parts to Thousand Year Blood War, right? Not just three. Yes. Knowing that, it feels like they can't really make Ichigo become the most powerful being in all existence this episode or next episode. I was going to say, I hope that like the Soul King somehow, like right as he's dying, passes on his ability, right? His, his foresight and stuff on to Ichigo because he foresaw that you Abaka after all those years but if if he passes on the ability like now or even like next episode it just feels too early you Abaka would know probably This is an interesting dilemma. Now I'm faced with this dilemma of like, is there a more powerful ability to see the future? Cause like, Yuubak is doing all these things to get the result that he wants cause he saw it, he foresaw it, right? But the same ability that he possesses is also the ability that the Soul King possesses. That's the end of the episode, isn't it? We're at the end. It's over, yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think about the episode? Let me know down in the comments. I'm excited to see what the fuck happens here because I genuinely, unless this man Ichigo unlocks the same ability, I don't see how he wins. You either have to be so completely unpredictable that you can't predict the future or you have to be able to predict the future yourself. And that way you're future versus future. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace. <laughs>